Welcome all, Chuck here, KK6US wife for Ham Radio Ventures. Today I'm going to show you my new backpack that I bought for my photography gear, but it also will work for my radio gear also. Stay tuned. Okay, so today's review is going to be on this, okay? This is the Endurax, E-N-D-U-R-A-X, Extra Large Camera Backpack. It's available on Amazon, and I will have a link in the description below for you. It runs $109.99, so $110. Oh, it has a coupon right now if you uh, get it for 5% off. All right, let's get started with this. Um, I'm going to pull the stuff off the outside of the bag first. Now I bought this off of Amazon. There will be a link in the description down below. And as an affiliate, I, I might make some money off it. Uh, it helps the channel, it doesn't cost you anymore. So please, if you buy one of these, try to buy it from my channel if you can. So right here I've got the first thing. I, I've just, I got this stuffed in this pocket here because it covers up a little higher. It'll actually go into the water bottle holder also. So we have a water bottle down here, it has water bottle holder on both sides. This is a DX Commander. This is for his uh, expedition pole setup. And I'll show you the bag I have. I have a separate bag with all the parts for that in it. And I'll show you that also at the end here. On the other side here, I have my tripod. And you know, a lot of times I probably won't carry it like this, but I just wanted to show you that you could if you wanted to. Now this, this setup is not super light. I wouldn't be uh, backpack packing this with a, you know, with up on a summit someplace, you know, 20 miles away. But for your parks on the air, it gives me a way of organizing all my gear. And I can take everything pretty much in one bag with what I have in here. I have a whole setup for HF. You'll see later. So over here, I actually ran this through this cord. This is my... Uh, my tripod that I use all the time, it is a KF Concepts. Really nice, really nice tripod, pretty light, but I mean, there's some weight there. So let me get rid of that. Now, on the side over here, you have pockets. Like I said, you have a place for your water bottles or whatever you want to put in there, snacks on one side, maybe a water bottle on the other. This pocket comes down about only that far and then it goes down pretty deep it goes to the bottom and I'd say that's uh, 12 10 to 12 inches deep okay so it only zips part way though on this side I have the same pocket basically but this one zips all the way down and they both have inner pockets also and there's little things in here to catch you know, you could put your pens or whatever. This would be a good place to keep some notes, notebook and stuff like that. Okay, on the back here, this has your shoulder straps here. It's got a handle here you can grab so you can carry it like that if you're just carrying it to the car. It's also padded here. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but maybe you can see it. These, this padding and this padding stick out a little bit. So the middle down this section here, it's, it's open. So I mean, if it does, your back doesn't touch it, it might keep your back just a little cooler. That's what it's for. But it's a pretty comfortable backpack. When I took it to Hawaii, you guys have already seen this. This is what I took to Hawaii to carry all my stuff on, onto the plane. And I stuck those. It has a place down here where you can stick them, all the straps, down inside this little panel here. And that way I didn't have them flying all over the place. It's got your little straps. These pull it up on your shoulder tire. Just like a like a real backpack that you would uh, buy for um, going backpacking. The only thing is, this thing is not super light to start with because it is a camera case. And being a camera case, everything is padded. It's pretty solid. Um, it keeps its shape really well. You know, a lot of backpacks you throw them on the ground, they just they just fold to nothing. That's not the case with this one. Let me just set it down here. Now, if you guys can see this this top section right here. This backpack is also kind of designed for drones. And one of the little small DJI, even the medium-sized DJI 
drone will actually fit in this top section here. And then it leaves everything else for your camera gear. This is actually made to where you can land the, the, your, uh, your drone on top of this if you want to. Kind of a neat thing. What I kind of like about it, it's hard. So it gives a little more protection for my camera gear. Let me set this up a little closer so you guys can see better what's inside. We're going to go through this part first and then I will open the main section. Oh, one other thing though. I, forgot, I almost forgot because it's kind of hidden. But over here, this is for your laptop. What I have in here right now, this is actually my solar setup. You guys have seen the, the video on this or if you haven't seen it, I'll put it in the description below also, or at the end of the thing, up in the corner. So this is a 60 watt, and it's made by Top Solar, okay? And I've got more parts to this that are actually in here. Yes, I got the wires for it in here. Doityourselfsolar4u.com. Now, I want to do a review on this later. This is a pretty cool controller. It's an MPPT. I still need to do some testing on it to see how quiet it is. Uh, there's a little story behind this later that I'll do when I do the review. Okay, and then also I had enough room for my uh, iPad. It's like one of the bigger iPads, and I use this for logging. Let me open this up, and I'll show you what I have in the top section. In the top of this, this is where I told you before that uh, if you had a small drone, you could put it up here. It's the two zippers. It's got the bungee cord, and I've actually thrown my coat up here or, a sh or like a sweatshirt or something like that before, and it works pretty good. Okay, so in here, this is my, uh, first of all, this is my Dr. Ed Fong uh, dual band antenna that I built. There's a video on that. This is my KX2, and uh, it fits in there really good. I have this bracket on here where I can, I screw this on here. And I got, I got this from, uh, I think Josh was the first one I saw to do this. Josh from HRCC, Ham Radio Crash Course. And basically, on a 705, and I can just put this down like that. And it just sits there. So it's pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool little setup. It gets it up off the ground and uh, tilted the direct, direct direction you want to see. I always carry some tape. I've got, this is for my battery, for my bioeno for the radio. I've got a bunch of fittings in here. Uh, extra coax, one of them's for the antenna sometimes, and one of them's for that uh, Dr. Fong. Real lightweight stuff. My little uh, two and a half ounce infed half wave that I carry. This is my doublet. This is really my favorite antenna with the KX2 because it has that tuner. And if you have a tuner for your 705, this would work great also. Uh, it does 10 through 40. 40 is a little, it's a little short for 40, so it's a little marginal there. This is a 20 meter antenna from MHJ. And uh, here's the whip for it. It just screws on there. A lot of people don't know these come off, but they do come off. Sometimes you have to heat it just a little bit to make it shorter. But that, it's, that's a marginal antenna. And uh, I've got like this little stand for it. This clips, this clips on here. These little legs come out, and it keeps it from falling over. I made some. Uh, this is uh, RG three sixteen or three. I think it's three sixteen or three fifteen. Uh, I put some ends on it. It's about twenty five thirty feet. I forget exactly how much. I got my HT. This FT sixty. That's usually I usually grab that one. It's one of my favorite. These are earbuds, and these are they're actually made for supposedly for editing and stuff because they're. They close off your uh, your ears pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. I can only get so close. This lens doesn't get real close. But these are pretty cool. They, it, it it knocks most of the noise out. I found out when I was on the beach that that's some, something you really need. And I don't. I usually use this battery. A lot of people complain about you have to pull the uh, battery out of the uh, KX2 to charge it, which they're going to fix. There's a, there's a fix for that coming out pretty soon. Uh, Wayne had told us on Coffee and Ham Radios. Don't forget to watch Coffee and Ham Radios also, guys. And, and don't forget, even if you're subscribed to me, uh, Ham Radio Dude, TO for uh, Temporary Offline, or The Smoking Ape, uh, still, yeah, you still need to subscribe to Coffee and Ham Radio also. But uh, I usually run this first. This thing will run for days. On the, the KX2, we're on for days on that. 
and just so you guys know, the 705 with that metal case that the ham radio dude just got for his, it'll still, the POV, I think is what they call it, it'll still fit in here, which from what I understand, it won't, this won't, the uh, 705 won't fit in the I, the Icon backpack with that cage. I don't know for sure because I don't own one. But there, uh, and I'll, I'll throw a picture, and I took a picture of it while he was here, and there was still room that you could put my, these two antennas and, and a lot of this other stuff. This probably could have fit in there still. There was still a lot of room. This has a lot of room up in here. Okay, so you have two zippers. Like I said before, really nice zippers. They work real well. Top up here. Let me show you the very top, the inside of the top of this first. So this is, like I said, this is for drones. So the, all these little deals here, I've got some stuff just to show you can put uh, a couple of pieces of coax. This is a choke that I just picked up this last weekend. But you can put the uh, propellers for your drones up in here. Then it has a little small thing for other parts. You could you could probably get uh, SD cards, all kinds of stuff like that. It's just, you know, what are, the, the sky's the limit, you know what I'm saying? Now here's the uh, inside of the bag. This is just uh, a bag that I make. I make these bags. They're uh, made out of Dyneema thread and uh, different kinds of backpack material. That one doesn't really have anything in it right now. I've got another uh, tripod here. PY Tech. I'll try to put uh, links to everything that's in the video. This one's pretty cool because I use this for my small camera. It's, it's actually hold my big camera. Now, when I open right here, I usually have, let me show this to you guys. Actually, let me do that. That might work better. Let me use my old camera bag underneath it and I'll show that to you in a bit too. So usually my camera's right here, uh, the one I'm using right now, but I need to use it. So I'll, I'll put a picture of it inside the bag so you can see what that looks like also. Now in here, there's another bag that I made. This has all my batteries in it for, let's see, one, two, three, four, four different cameras I can carry. And I don't carry all of them, but there's chargers for each one has a different charger. So what I have here, let me just pull all my cameras out. This one, uh, I don't always take this one, but I did take this to Hawaii with me because it has a 60 times zoom. And it's pretty good, especially if you put it on a tripod. This is usually the, the one I'll take for my sports camera. This is my DJI Osmo Action. Uh, really good deal. They're about 200 bucks right now. Now I also have, I just keep a rag in there for clean lenses. And that one was dirty. This is a, a, a GoPro 9. Uh, I do like this, but it's not super reliable. I've had, I've had luck, bad luck with it at times. This is my Sigma 56 1.4. Put that back in there. See what else we had here. Just, no, just another bag. This is um, this is Dyneema fishing line. Dyneema is a, a super super strong material, and it's really slick. I use this for throwing up in trees. This is from Peak Design. You put these on your camera usually. I take them off when I'm recording, especially in the wind, and they just snap in. Boom, it's on. Filters, a battery. Uh, this is to charge your phone or anything else. Now I have two of these lights. These are Ulanzi's. They're they're pretty nice. Uh, I'll turn it on for you real quick. Uh, kind of darkened everything. Uh, really good if you need just a little bit of fill light, or it's getting dark and you want some light. It, it works for lighting up your radio. If you know. we were out with the 705 the other day in the dark and noticed that. For some reason, they didn't put uh, probably because of saving battery, but they don't. The, the buttons aren't lit up on it, so we could use something like this. All right. Now the other thing I, I have in here, which is this, is all my microphone stuff. I use the Rode Go 2. It's a wireless Go system, and I bought this from Small Rig. I'll put that in the down. I put all this stuff, like I said, down in the in the description. And then inside here, I have this. This is a gimbal. This is the uh, Zayun M2. I'll put it in the description also. Basically it has this here, a little tripod that goes in the bottom. That folds out. What's nice about this thing, it, it will handle my uh, mirrorless camera, my Sony. And now all these, all these things here, they just basically Velcro in. 
You can put them wherever you want. You, the whole thing has just got the Velcro stuff around the edges where it will stick to it. And then I just put this one over the top just to hold things in there. Okay, so that's what I carry. All right, I hope this is a good video for you guys and maybe it'll help you make a decision on what you might want to buy for your go bag or photography bag, uh, ham radio bag, or everything. If you have bags that you have used, why don't you put those in the description and tell us about it. I'm sure everybody would like to hear about it. So don't forget to hit that like, hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and hit that all button. You'll get all my new videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Be safe all. Hope to hear you on the airwaves, 73.